In this video, we'll be going over if statements, and inside of the if statements, we'll be using the and statement as well as the or statement. This allows us to evaluate multiple logical criteria in a single line of code. Let's see what that looks like. Again, you're welcome to go to the website, thatsobasic.com, URL and comments if you want to get the companion file from the intro to VBA tab. What we're looking at here is I've written out kind of a scenario for you where we could evaluate two different variables to say, you know, we're trying to identify a female in age group one, 20 to 35. Maybe you're using data for marketing purposes. And so here, some variable gender, let's say that we've got a table and gender is in B1, and it says female. And then age is going to be this bracket, age group 1, 20 to 31, uh, 20 to 35. So we'll grab age group 1. And uh, let's start out by assigning a couple variables and then evaluating them. So let's say that gender is equal to, and what do we have here? We have B1, range B1, and age is equal to B2. All right, and then the way that an if statement works is it's going to evaluate a logical argument, whatever that happens to be. Um, and let's start out simple, actually. Let's say if gender equals f for female then we're going to do some kind of act action that exists between the if and the end if block and maybe it's just a message box that says true obviously you're going to do something a little bit more interesting but if i type f8 and gender says f and then age says age group one uh, we're just first evaluating if f is true and I'm going to get a message box that says true. But what if I want to evaluate what happens if something's false? So then I'm going to type else. And then this allows me to uh, provide some sort of event that's going to happen if it's not true. So let's change it to male really quick. And if we were to backtrack a little bit here. Sorry. Uh, what happened just now, in case you're curious why I was acting funny, I clicked into a cell and I need to get out of the cell before I interact with code. I can't both be inside of a sheet cell, editing the contents and editing Visual Basic at the same time. So if I was to remove the else statement and just see like what happens if I run an if statement and nothing's true. It's just going to go straight from the if line here to the end if line here and nothing happens. So if I hit stop, and then I instead type else. And we can change these message boxes to be a little bit more descriptive to what's happening here. And if I hit F8, now it's saying, is the gender equal to F? And then it says else, and it says male. OK, so that's all good, but what if my box was blank. Well, that's kind of problematic because that would be entirely inaccurate for every time that it doesn't say F to always say male, right? So if I was to then say else if, I can have a second logical statement that's going to be evaluated in order. So what, what's happening here is that the first logical statement was female, the second one is male, once the first one executes, if this one's true, the second statement is not evaluated at all. However, if the first statement is false, the second statement will be evaluated. And then if they're both false, I can either just omit any, any further arguments and it will go to the end if, or I can type an else. So the else is the statement that will be executed if all subsequent statements are false within the if block. So here we could have a message box saying gender not entered and I'll get that message box back. So here if I was to switch it to male, 
I have to drag my yellow box up. Well, I have to get out of the box. Uh, and then drag this back up to gender. Let it reassign since I did make an entry to B1 just now. Hit F8. Hit F8 again. And then you're going to see male is now true. Okay. So what if we wanted to also evaluate the age group? So age group one, we can go ahead and create uh, if it's female and age, what's the age? Age is our variable. Age equals age, what does it say here? Age group one. And so in this case, I have to match the exact syntax. Whenever I'm using a string, a string variable that exists on a worksheet and I'm trying to do any kind of equality, I, the, the case sensitivity does actually matter. So here, if gender is female and the age is age group one, then it's going to say, I don't know, female 25 or 22, 35. And so this came up false. Let's try and figure out why. So gender is, uh, we had to switch it to female. We were trying to make this true, right? We're trying to see female in age group one. So let's drag this back up, reevaluate the gender variable in B1, and now I get that message box. Now, what if I wanted to make this a little bit more complicated? And I wanted to say either age group one or age group two is acceptable, but I don't want to include age group three. So here I can do a parentheses and then say or age equals age group two. And then I could switch this to two and it'll work fine. And so what's going to happen here is that the hierarchy of decisions in in determining if a set of statements is true or false is going to be driven by the parentheses. And so it's kind of like if you think back to PEMDAS that you might have learned in school, uh, the first order of operations within mathematics is the parentheses, right? That's going to really drive the way you can structure your argument. And so here I could have the and and then a bunch of or statements, right? So the or is going to be evaluated first, so this or this and this. And I get that message box. Now, what if I wanted to say a female and age group one or a male and age group one, uh, let's say age group two. All right, so the way that this is going to evaluate is that gender equals female and age groups one, or gender equals male and age group two. So in this case, either one of these could be true, and then I would need to change my message box or male 36 to 50. And so what's happening here is that inside the parentheses, it's evaluating, is this true? Is this true? And then it's going to use the or to say, well, either of them could be true. So you could see how in these two simple examples, I was able to do some completely fundamentally different things, evaluating a logical set of statements. I can create a number of scenarios. So like, let's say, you know, I work in investment banking and when I'm looking at investments, there's a number of things that I could be looking for that looks wrong or unusual. And so I could say, if these three things are wrong, then flag it for review or look at these five things that might be wrong and flag it for review. But maybe I think that those three things happening together is bizarre and I want to look at that. 
and these other five things are totally different. But when those five things happen together, I also want to look at it. And so you can really structure your arguments based on whatever your needs are, however intricate, and um, really think about how you're doing the parentheses. But those are the things, anything inside parentheses will be evaluated first, and you should be able to kind of structure your logical flow from there. All right, thanks for joining, and hopefully this gave you a good grasp of if statements and how to get some stuff done.